Hello everybody. Welcome to Distilled, Brewed and Reviewed. My name is John. I do everything that has anything to do with alcohol on this channel. I review it all. There's a lot of stuff in the alcohol world. There's a lot of categories of alcohol, right? Beers, wines, lick, everything. God, I'm not gonna name hundreds of categories. I do them all. And I do my world famous coffee reviews. Is it hard to find all that stuff? That sounds pretty complicated. No, I have the most extensive and up to date playlists on YouTube. And just click on the playlist um, the category, right? And everything pops up. You could just look and scroll down and see oh, how I broke everything down, how easy it is to find everything. All your favorite stuff, stuff you've always wondered about. I got it all on there nice. You're gonna be amazed, you're gonna be surprised. And the first comment is pinned. It's mine. And it always has a link to the playlist that I'm reviewing. In this case, it would be beer. And what beer? Oh, and why do I do everything that has anything to do with alcohol? A, because I can. And you know what's amazing? I do it with half my taste buds tied behind my back. Because I have to make this fair. All right. Here we go. The only thing I can find during the research of the difference of these is that one, the regular, perhaps what I'll call the regular on the white can, is 4.7% ABV. Black label, <coughs> excuse me, 6.5. Everything else it says is exactly the same. So this can's black where this is white and silver where that's red and the alcohol is different. Does it make a difference? Be the first to know. Won't be the first to know. Now, I love doing this. This channel is cool. It's fun to do. Uh, it could get expensive, you know. I do all these whiskeys and wines. It get expensive. And the, the, I don't think I'll ever get it back in the advertising. But you know what? I mean, I don't come anywhere closed. Um, it's fun. It's my hobby. So, as long as I love doing it, and I love doing it, I'm gonna keep doing. Here is the regular. Good old lawnmower, right? After a day of yard work. Paps. Low ABV, drink a bunch of them, sitting around by the pool, whatever. You know it has its, it has its place in the world. And here's the 6.5, folks. So if it's the same, ingredients and everything's the same for the alcohol. The only thing I think that should be different is maybe the mouth feel. And we'll discuss in a minute. So this is the lower of the regular and this is the higher. Okay. They look identical. Um, how did they get the higher ABV? Whew. Did they obviously they must have let well no obvious. Uh, one way is they let it um, ferment longer. They let the uh, yeast uh, eat more of the sugar to turn an alcohol, which would change the taste. Or they added sugar and just let the yeast eat it by adding it, uh, which may, but then if they ate the sugar to bring it down to the same levels, yeah, it's hard to say. Uh, because in this case, they actually would add sugar. In their case, the sugar comes from the grains. From cooking them, it breaks the carbohydrates and simple sugars. Let's see if there's a different taste, not a different color. The regular. Cheers, my friends. And here I go. I gotta put this up here because I think it makes a nice thumbnail. It lets people know what you're doing. All right. I'll tell you, this room's a nice thumbnail. This bar. <laughs> I love it down here. Sipping den. Beautiful. Individual beers may vary, uh, even of the same. But really, I'm not getting any difference on the smell. Let's let's see what uh, what we get on the taste. Typical Pabst Blue Ribbon. You know what it tastes like? Low bitterness, um, medium carbonation, a little bit of bready yeast. There's not much to it. All right, it's just a easy drinking, thirst quenching. Here's the 6.5. So 
So did it blind. No, I should have did blind. I shouldn't even know what the beers are. I do detect a slight, a slight difference. Um, very slight. The one, the, the 6.5, just for some reason, I'm getting a little more maltiness out of it. Um, it could be just the individual cans. Um, might be the brewing process. Might be that they added something to get the higher. I mean, some they got the higher alcohol content somehow. Um, and I don't necessarily like higher alcohol because unless you're really getting a lot of flavor, I'm just getting more alcohol. It means I can drink less stuff. I, you know, like I, I, instead of getting a uh, espresso, which sometimes I enjoy, but I'd rather have a nice cup of coffee, right? You get the same caffeine, uh, but I'm getting, I can sip it for a while, enjoy it, and it's, it's all about the atmosphere. And so I like the less caffeine and the more volume. Uh, in beer, if it's going to be basically the same taste, it's a little. It seems a little better on the 6.5, a little more malty. That might be my imagination. I don't know. Um, but it's not enough to justify. I'd rather have the lower. I don't do things to get. Okay, if I want to get drunk, I sit here and guzzle pure grain or you know. I don't need it. Uh, I, I love the flavor. Okay, I like the annoyances, the little things that I pick out. It, uh, it's the fun to me. Uh, taking my time, drinking stuff, picking out all flavors, training that palate. Testing myself, I do it with a lot of things. That's why, like, not always. If I'm out with the boys and we're drinking, we're putting down at the bar and I'm talking, and then I'm not doing that. Um, but if I'm sitting down here in the den, real nice, and there's some music, or whatever, um, just nice and quiet, just me, real nice. I got it's nice to I got leather. This place is beautiful. Um, then I'll actually do that <laughs> as I'm contemplating life, you know. So anyway, hey, uh, but I got to do this for you. I'm glad I got to do it for myself. Glad I got to do it for you. Um, basically the same thing. You just get more alcohol. I mean, if I did a bunch of them, I don't know if they'd be different. And uh, the difference is so small as to not as to be negligible. Um, but I enjoyed it. Here's the thing. Uh, you mind giving me a sub? Uh, it's one way I measure. Uh, one of the ways I measure this. The, you know, watch time, sub, and comments is important. Um, this is my hobby, and I want to be good at it. Uh, just like anything. So I'd appreciate it if you all could do that. And as I like to say, as always, you know I'm going to see you all in the next one. You know I am.